Welcome back, Spaceology audience. And I'm continuing our discussion about Game of Thrones. And today we're talking about Lord Peter Bayless, a.k.a. Littlefinger, as he's known. Or as I call him, El Pimp Magnifico. Littlefinger is really one of the most intriguing characters in the Seven Kingdoms. And this guy's like fucking Kaiser Sose, the Seven Realms, man. Like the story, the backstory in this guy is he comes from this little small family from this coastal village that has like no power. They don't even have a, a name. He's literally the only one left of his family. So it doesn't have much, right? Comes and ends up growing up with Caitlin, Caitlin Tully, who becomes Caitlin Stark, and her sister, who is Lysa, who ends up marrying John Aaron, right? And remember, all this gets started when John Aaron dies. And now Robert Baratheon is like, look, Ned, I need you to come out here and be my hand. Now, let's remember John Aaron was the guy who kind of raised Ned Stark and had a hand in raising Robert Baratheon. They grew up like brothers under John Aaron. So he was a, a central figure to both these important figures in the story. So as we're going through the story, we figure out that it's actually Littlefinger who poisons or has Lysa because Lysa is absolutely in love with Littlefinger. Littlefinger's always been in love with Caitlyn. For some unknown, unexplicable reason, right? And he uses her to poison John Aaron. Why? I have no idea. Was he? Did he care that he was, you know, searching out the 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 lineage of Joffrey Baratheon, who's really his uncle's son and not the real heir? Um, was he? Try, he was also trying to hunt down uh, the uh, uh, Robert's bastards. So why Littlefinger cared about this, I have no idea. And that will be an overriding theme for Littlefinger. We never know what he really wants. I always thought for a guy who comes from the finger, this little out-of-the-way place with no family, no money, to rise up to run the biggest brothel in King's Landing, I thought that would be enough. Because when they say winter is coming, it was probably happening at Littlefinger's spot, right? But then he goes on. He's also part, a member of the small council. He's like the master of coin. So you would think, okay, I was poor. Now I'm master coin. Think that would be enough. But it's not. Not for Littlefinger. Littlefinger's got a plan that none of us even recognize. So he has a hand in killing John Aaron, right? And gets this stuff rolling. And then, you know, we know the whole incident with Cersei and Jamie and Bran Stark where Jamie pushes him out the window and paralyzes the little kid. So, I don't, why Littlefinger does this, I don't know, but he actually frames Tyrion for it. And we know that after framing Tyrion, what Caitlyn Stark does is she grabs Tyrion, right? And that kind of sets off the whole, that really inflames it, because Ned's in, in King's Landing, and Ned ends up getting to it with uh, Jaime Lannister, the only Lannister who actually cares about Tyrion. So that kind of gets him, that really sets the table for a lot of stuff in terms of like, really affecting the Stark clan and why Littlefinger does it. We have, I, we have no idea. I have no idea what Littlefinger does or why he does what he does. Again, this guy is is Kaiser Sose, man. He's got the brothel girls who hear, who hear everything. He's got a great spy network. Starting to get some money and some power. So you're like, okay, what is he doing now, right? Turns out, it, it seems to me like he was working with the Tyrells uh, in the, the murder assassination of King Joffrey. Thank you very much. I hated Joffrey. So he's also wrapped up in that. And then and during that, he has this whole scheme where he sends a guy out there and he uh, gets Sansa to run, making herself look guilty even though she wasn't. And now he's got Sansa Stark, right? So during this, he goes and he actually marries uh, John Aaron's widow, who is Lysa Aaron, who is Caitlyn's, Caitlyn's sister. So now he becomes a protector of the veil, right? So now you got a title and you got some money. You're your 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 protector of the veil. Yeah, your wife isn't great looking. But what does he do? He immediately pushes her out of out of the 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 sunroof, right? Where they send people like so he kills her, right? So I'm thinking, okay, well now you've got she's got a son, but clearly you're running this little boob sucking idiot. And so you're thinking, okay, well now he's got the veil, and you got your brothel, and you got all his power, and now you got sons of Stark. So I'm thinking, he's kind of put his claws pimpery. Right, puts his claws in Sansa Stark, and she seems to accept it. So I'm thinking he's going to marry Sansa for himself. He'll have the veil, and he'll also be Lord of the North. But that's not what he does. He goes and he trades her to Ramsay Bolton, or trades her to his father, for an alliance with the Boltons, who are sitting up in up in up in uh, Winterfell. So whatever's going on with this guy, I mean, he's so crafty, he's so wicked, he knows every little detail. 
And what his ultimate game, I guess he really wants to sit on the Iron Throne. And he's willing to do whatever. Now, he is one of the more intelligent guys in the realm. No one's ever really been able to, like, check this guy. Yeah, he's been beaten in some physical fights. But that's not the game that he's playing. He's literally playing a game of Thrones right now. And, you know, he's that guy, like, when you're playing Monopoly and all of a sudden they're beating everybody but you weren't paying attention to him. That's who he is. Why Cersei's making her noise and Daenerys is doing her thing. This guy is making mad moves. And Littlefinger, man, I, I've come to respect you. Uh, you're truly gangster. He takes big risks. Maybe it's not my role to understand what he does. Maybe it will be ultimately revealed later. But, man, I give this guy as good a shot as anybody as achieving his goal and getting his rear end on the Iron Throne. So thank you again. I definitely appreciate your comments. Let me know what you think about Littlefinger. And we'll talk more about Game of Thrones in our next uh, subject that's going to be coming up. I think at some point we'll get into Tyrion, but he's one of my favorites. So I really want to do a good job on him. Anyway, thanks for checking in to Spaceology. Peace.